Saturday turned out to be quite a consequential one, both in terms of you now being the last uh, undefeated team in the league and Leinster losing that 26 game win streak. How consequential, if at all, are either of those results to how you guys mentally approach Friday's game? Um, no, I think uh, uh, not, not, not very. Uh, there's an interest factor to it, but uh, in 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 terms of um, playing Leinster this weekend, um, it was always going to be a massive game for us, uh, whether we'd whether we'd won, lost, or whether they'd won, lost. So it was uh, um, it was it was more out of interest than 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 anything else. Um, like we're. Uh, you know, we'd uh, we we we'd love to win down there, as I'm I'm sure Connor went in the same mindset last week. Sam, hi, it's Michael Corkin here. Um, the fact that Connor went there and won, and you having uh, you know Connor quite well, you know what it meant to them. Does that put you on sort of extra guard, for want of a better phrase, knowing that um, a team like Leinster uh, will be smarting, for want of a better phrase, after a result like that? Um. Well, I think you know they're they're going to obviously they've won twenty six games in a row and then they've lost one, so they are going to be very disappointed. Um, and and does that motivate them more? Yeah, I I, I don't know. I don't live in their camp, but uh, you know the the you know whenever whenever I I do hear things that 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 come from there and it's spoken in the media, they they talk about their their process and they focus on their performance and I genuinely believe that's why they've been as good as they have been for this for this length of time because that's that is the focus and it, it you know it'll I suppose there'll be a little bit of a proof of the pudding in in the way they've worked this week um, but I suspect when they win which they usually do and don't play very well they're pretty hard on themselves so uh, when they've lost and they feel they haven't played as well they'll be hard on themselves again um, in ter- in terms of how, how that affects us look you know they they had real injury problems last week. We you know we all know that they they had some COVID things to deal with and you know that they, they, they uh, um, had some inexperienced guys in there um, and they met a, a Connaught team who were um, loaded pretty well and and had uh, their their own their own bit of business to, to to deal with from the previous week and you know I think there was a, a meeting of of uh, of, of of two pretty important scenarios there, and and you know Connor Connor did a, a a fantastic job and played a great game. Hi Dan, um, given the situation in the conference, yourselves now ten points ahead with um, having the two games in hand. Do you put more priority on this, especially given your situation in Europe, and you almost put all your eggs in one basket for this week? No, the. Uh, World's not black and white, is it? Um, many, many, many shades in between. Um, there's cer- certainly not all eggs in one basket. Like we're, you know, we, we we've got three games to play now before um, a little mini break, um, and they're all important games to us. Um, you know that this is an interpro. It's a game where you know we're we're. Um, as it stands, level level pegging uh, with 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 Leinster, so that's pretty important. The following game is against Gloucester. We're playing at home. We lost away in a game that, uh, you know, we were really disappointed to to lose, and 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 we played played well in. And then obviously we've got the the big guns of Toulouse over there in the following game. So they're all pretty big games. Um, eggs evenly distributed. Hi Dan, hope you're well. Um, did anything? surprise you at all about um, the manner of Leicester's defeat last weekend? Um, did anything surprise me? Um, yes, they lost. That was pretty surprising. Um, I thought Connor played really well. You know, I thought they did a lot, a lot of good stuff, but I, I also thought Leinster did a lot of good stuff as well. Like they, uh, you know, there was a lot of good gain line work from them, as uh, as is always the case, and. You know, um, Jack managed to pin them back in 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 the corners with some um, pretty astute kicking and and put them under a bit of pressure. And you know, I think uh, um, Leinster um, pro- probably probably overplayed a little bit a little bit early in the game. But um, you know, which you know not normally they. But as I say, you know, it didn't. You know, they they, they had a lot of uh, uh, guys um, um, missing for that game and and. Um, we're a little bit inexperienced in, in, in some of those aspects. 
Good Sinead. Sinead. Uh, that's not how, that's not how I see it, Sinead. No, um, you know they've uh, you know they've got a um, lot of quality players. They did it like you know it's it, they, they, they've lost a game of rugby. The biggest surprise is it's it's, it's one out of twenty six. You know, if 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 I if I said to you, um, are a, a team that's lost one out of twenty seven games vulnerable? You know, I don't think so. You know, it's uh, uh, this this is a massive challenge for us, and we recognise it as such.